what is the disadvantage of interrupting CPR? Coronary perfusion during CPR depends on the coronary perfusion pressure. Coronary perfusion pressure is equal to aortic diastolic pressure minus right atrial diastolic pressure. It takes at least 15 compressions for coronary perfusion pressure to reach peak value during CPR. Hence, CPR should not be interrupted. If CPR is stopped, it takes another 15 compressions to build up the peak coronary perfusion pressure. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.